everybody. This is Ken again with the Herf Locker, and we are on day five of our 12 shots of Christmas. This is when we're reviewing, a little tongue-in-cheek, but we're reviewing those little nip bottles you're going to see all around the liquor stores in the next <clears throat> couple weeks. You probably already have seen them. Things that are not the high-end bourbons or whiskeys, but things that are kind of variations of whiskeys, different flavors, different styles, different finishes. And, you know, it's generally the things that you put in somebody's stocking, somebody's grab bag. This is something that we're, uh, you know, just having some fun doing and also giving honest reviews on. So today, I'm actually a little excited to try this one. <clears throat> this is a Jameson Cold Brew. So our friends at Jameson describe this as... Jameson Cold Brew combines the smooth taste of triple distilled Jameson and the richness of natural cold brew coffee flavor in one bottle. This is a perfectly balanced combination of our smooth Irish whiskey with hints of toasted oak, dark chocolate, and a rich coffee aroma. So the one thing about this is they actually suggest this on ice, but I don't I, I tend to do reviews uh, straight. Uh, neat, if you will, just because I want to make sure that I'm really picking up the flavors. But I am going to try this a couple ways. So, in retrospect, maybe I should have got more than two, uh, more than one shot. But I'm going to try this in the natural state. I'm going to give it a the smell, the sip, the coating, the finish, and then I'm actually going to add a little ice because that's how they suggest it. And then what I've seen is popular is folks um, adding uh, Coca-Cola to this. So I have my bottle of Coca-Cola right there because the Herf Locker is always armed with different uh, variants, if you will, of uh, bottled soda just in case, you know, the liver's not feeling the bourbon and I've had too much coffee that day. So that's generally what we do. So let's see how this one goes. All right, on the nose, it's coffee. It's with with a hint of vanilla on there. Um, it is what it should be, you know, an overwhelming coffee aroma. You can see it's much darker than a typical uh, whiskey would be. Obviously, they really more than likely infuse this with real cold brew coffee. Oh yeah, you can definitely pick up the dark chocolate. This is actually pretty good. You can definitely pick up the dark chocolate and the coffee. Decent, decent coating. Uh, nothing, nothing too crazy or intense. And uh, the finish is smooth. So I'm adding a little bit of ice to this. Give her a little swirl, just to see how, just to see how it's going. I'm going to let this cool down for a minute. If you haven't seen our what we're doing with um, the Pravada Facebook page, we are in collaboration with them and Nathan McCain doing uh, Cigars for Warriors. So anybody who do donates more than uh, 10 cigars, and it's going to be the first 40 people, um, I'm sending you along one of my uh, rare or limited LCA Pravada sticks from the past year as a thank you. We do a little wheel spin once a week. We actually just recorded it this morning for the first 13 guys and girls who uh, donated more than 10 sticks. Big thank you. But if you haven't seen it, check it out. So. I see why they add, they say to add the ice. It, um... It does smooth out the chocolate because it was actually kind of intense on the dark chocolate for me. It smooths that out a touch. It opens up the flavor a little bit. And it is very reminiscent of a cold brew coffee. This is a limited edition that they offer. Um, so you never know how long it's going to be out there. I get a feeling it's going to be out there for a while. And it is 30% alcohol, making it, making it 60 proof. So it's not overly sweet. This is actually something I could sip on, and I could see myself sipping on a couple of them, which always makes it danger, even though it's a little lower on the lower scale of 60 um, proof. You know, you might still get a little messed up. So lastly, I'm going to try this with kind of a proportionate amount of Coke. 
Um, again, there's not, you know, there's probably a half ounce of whiskey in there. I'm going to add about an ounce of Coke. Keep it on the ice because that's exactly how you would drink it. Um, and again, this is from suggestions that I've seen online. I always try to, you know, even with the lesser name brands like we've did, um, Ellington Reserve, Salted Caramel, um, or the more popular ones like Jameson, I really try to do the research on it and try to find uh, as much information as I can. The combination of the two actually has a weird smell to it. I can't place it, um, but okay. Um, I'll say with that, it's interesting with the carbonation. It's interesting with the flavor. I don't think I would actually, I don't think I would marry these two. The sweetness for the Coke takes over. I suppose if you actually really like to, you know, I drink my coffee generally, uh, with no sugar and just cream. If you were, you know, one of those four sugar type of people, this might offset that and make it sweeter. Um, the carbonation does give it a little interesting kick, though, which I that that part I enjoy. So that was, you know what, this was probably the best of the bunch so far. Um, shockingly, day one I did somewhat enjoy the Jim Beam Devil Cut as much as I could, uh, but this this is this is the runaway so far. This is the one that I would actually put into somebody's stocking and feel good about it, um, or gladly take into my uh, little stocking or grab bag. Hint, hint. Um, so yeah, no, this is a, this one's actually a winner. So winner, winner, chicken dinner. This this one day five for this Jameson cold brew. This is good stuff. I like it. I would buy a bottle of this. It typically goes for about somewhere between twenty five and twenty seven a bottle. You're gonna see it for uh, the nip was actually fairly expensive though for nips. It was three twenty nine at the local uh, large uh, liquor store chain that everyone probably has around them. Um, so the nip was, you know, on the more expensive side, but it wouldn't deter me from buying it for putting into, um, you know, like, as I said, a grab bag or a stocking and for $25 for the bottle, it's definitely something I would try, even though it's a little lower proof than I normally enjoy. It's definitely something I probably will pick up and throw on the shelf. It's not bad. I liked it. So thank you again for your time. Thank you again for checking these videos out. If you like what we're doing. Uh, hit that subscribe button. If you really want to know what we're doing when we're doing it, hit that notification bell. And that is all. Everyone have a great week. Have a great holiday season. And God bless America.